Tri-state police officers test a device that can make a big difference when it comes to their tasers. Good evening. At least five police departments say they want to be part of a pilot program for testing that some say makes taser use safer. This comes amid controversy and lawsuits over taser use. A recent article by the American Heart Association says a shock from a taser can lead to cardiac arrest. But many police departments believe in the weapon that lets them gain control of a suspect often at a distance. Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us why so many departments are interested in what's called the waveform analyzer. 18-year-old Everett Howard died after being tased by a UC police officer in 2011. Cause of death unknown. Still, UC paid his family $2 million and stopped using tasers. Howard was attending a program on campus, not drinking or doing drugs. The officer said Howard disobeyed him. The case is likely part of the reason cops at least one law director and a couple of lawyers wanted to see the first electroshock weapon tester that measures electrical output of tasers, which some say is inconsistent. There's no recognized safety standard. Former Navy SEAL Ken Stetham is the inventor of Axios. He says measuring output is sometimes done after a taser-related death. That's like getting a weather report after Katrina. If you test after a death, it, it, you know, it doesn't do as much good as it does before. This laser speed gun is calibrated every day, an intoxilizer every seven days. A taser, never. I believe that all these units should be tested just like all the other law enforcement tools are tested. We should have uniform standards for testing, for measurement, and for post-incident investigation so that we know what just happened. Not everyone's sold. The Cheviot chief wants to know what output is safe and what's not. Where is the safety line drawn? And, and so far I'm still looking for that line. And who can draw that line? Someone who's much smarter than I am. Colerain Township is part of the pilot program, but its electroshock weapon of choice is not a taser. It's an impact weapon, stun gun, mace, and strobe light all in one. The liability was a coming back upon the police officers themselves, and it just wasn't acceptable to me anymore. So I removed the tasers from service. Everyone who attended was invited to have tasers tested. No one did. I'm leaving. Maybe they'll do it now. Some departments are talking about sharing the $10,000 tester. One attendee said, it's cheaper than a lawyer. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Part of that settlement with the Howard family also says they have to be notified before university police start using tasers again.